Good evening, everybody. How was your day? Did you get the list? The verb lists? Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay, can hello. you hear me? It's okay, then that means that you can hear me. Sometimes when you don't respond, I don't know if you are listening or not. <laughs> and remember that Zoom has its own mind. <laughs> now, you can see the, the PPT? Yes, teacher. Okay, now someone tell me, how was your day? So far. <laughs> Fine, so far, good. I always like to get uh, a little bit earlier in order to talk to you about your days, about politics. <laughs> maybe, maybe tell a joke. <laughs> Because I, I like you to practice, okay? The more you practice, the better for you, okay? And we have time now. So, um, how, how is the rainy season right now in El Salvador? Is better? Less rain now? Do you have less rain now in El Salvador? Hay menos lluvia en El Salvador? Hello? No se le escucha, Rafael. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, remember I'm in Panama. We are three countries away. So that's why I'm asking. I don't know how is the conditions in, in El Salvador. So, and I love my country. That's why I'm always looking after what's happening there. Sometimes I realize that I know a little bit more than my best friend that lives there. <laughs> my best friend lives in El Salvador. And sometimes I make some comments to him about things that are happening in El Salvador. And I realize that I know more than he does. And I say, come on, you live in El Salvador and you don't know, you don't know this? <laughs> but we have a, a, a good time. It's my best friend and is a man. Sometimes people don't, don't believe on a friendship between a woman and a man, but we never see each other as other thing but friends, okay? He is my best friend. He tells me about his life and I told him about my life and we share jokes because we, we love to laugh. And, but, and he never thought of other ways about me and I never thought of other ways about him. I, I told him that we are like no, no sex, uh, we are like no sex uh, partners, okay? Because when he is with me, I am like another boy. And when, 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 uh, uh, and I feel him like another woman, 
and he is not he is not uh, homosexual. He is uh, uh, hetero, and I am hetero too. But we didn't see each other as opposite sex. Okay, because we are just friends. But I met him since I was six years old. And I'm 55 already. So this year I will be uh, become 56. That means 50 years knowing him. <laughs> we were we were uh, in we were living in the same neighborhood, and we were studying in the same school, primary school. So it's, a, it's, it's very nice to have met somebody so long. Okay, now. And education isn't how much you have committed to memory or even how much you know. It's being able to differentiate between what you know and what you don't. That means that to have an education, it's to differentiate between the things that you already know and the things that you don't know because you had to learn them, okay? Because sometimes uh, there are people that started to, to talk about things that they don't know. For example, uh, there uh, at the Congress, there are some people that just talk, 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 and sometimes they are talking things that they don't know. And they think that they, just because they, they can speak uh, very much, we as the people, we uh, uh, as the citizens, will believe everything they say. And we are not longer that way. <laughs> I love how my country is developing. Now they don't get whatever any, anybody said. They look from different angles and they don't believe just because somebody says so. I like that. And that's what we have to do. Okay, now. Uh, um, I remember that we haven't finished the we haven't finished this. We have the knowledge check, the 2.4 knowledge check. Okay. Simple present WH questions words. Com uh, complete these conversations using simple present and w e w h question words. Now, uh, Rafael, uh, do number one, please. Yes, teacher. What do you do? I am fighting. I am fine Thai student. I, I student, am a full full time full time uh, student. I am a full time student. Mm -hmm. I study the violin. No violin. Sé si ah, violin. Violin. Okay. violin. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, everybody, what do you do? Everybody, what repeat. Do what do you do? What, what do you do? do? I'm a full time student. I'm a full time I'm student. I study the violin. I study the violin. 
Okay, Sara Maria, uh, do number two, please. Where do you go to school? Where do you go to school? I go to the new, the new York School of Music. Okay, thank you. Now, everybody repeat. Where do you go to school? Where do Where you go, do you go, to, go to, to school? I go to the New York School of Music. I, I go, go to the New York School of Music. Okay. Now, Jessica Rosivel. How do you like your classes? I like I like them a lot. Okay, thank you very much. Now everybody, how do you like your classes? How, how do, do you like your like like classes? classes? I like them a lot. I like, I like them, them, them a, lot. a lot. Number four, uh, Katia Elizabeth. Okay, teacher. What does Tania do? She is a teacher. Okay, thank you very much. What does Tania do? What does, what what does, does, Tania, does Tania, Tania do? do? She is a teacher. She, she is, is a teacher. A teacher. But, uh, this is one of the few uh, examples where you ask with one uh, auxiliary and answer with another one, okay? Because of the meaning, because this is, what does he, uh, he or she do or what do you do is like an expression that means uh, que es lo que haces o que eres tú, okay? That's why they answer with the verb to be. She is a teacher, okay? Okay. But normally, if somebody asks you with verb to be, you have to answer with verb to be or with or, uh, 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 the other, other than be verbs. And if they want to ask you something with verb to be, they have to ask with verb to be, okay? Now, what does she do exactly? Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I have to choose. Sofia Castanera, could you do number five, please? What does she do exactly? She teaches math. Okay. If you notice in this case, what does, what does, what does what she does do exactly? She, uh -huh. she teaches math. In, in, in this case, she must be in capital letter, okay? Then, if you notice, we are using teaches because it's asking with other than be, okay? Now, uh, repeat. What does, she do, what does she do exactly? She teaches math. She teaches math. Now, Doris, could you do number six, please? It works. Uh, what, what about Ryan? What does she work? He works uh, for a big computer company. Okay. Uh, repeat. What about Ryan? What about, what about, what about Ryan? Ryan? Where does he work? Where, Where does, does he work? work? He works for a big he computer company. He works for a big computer company. Thank you. Now, Jessica Castro. What does he do exactly? He creates websites. Okay. What does he do exactly? What does 
he do exactly? What does he do? What does he do exactly? He, do exactly? he, do exactly? he, do exactly? he creates he websites. He, he creates websites. Website. Okay, 33 over 33. All of them good. Do you already have this exercise? Yes, teacher. ¿Ya todos lo yes, tienen teacher. hecho? Yes. Okay, yes, nice. Yes, good students. Now. Okay, in this lesson, you will listen to conversation where time expressions are first introduced. Okay, now let's see. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. But by the way, I'm Daniel. Okay. That means that she without makeup is not the same girl. <laughs> okay, now, again. Teacher, yes, I have a question. Uh huh. In the bus uh, exercise, uh, we have to do uh, exercise in the moment, moment in the platform, or after. Well, supposedly you have to have it already done, and we are only checking if you have it correct. In but the if, moment, if if you haven't done it. You may do it at the same time we are doing it. Okay. Okay. That's why I told you, you may open your, your platform mm -hmm. and work as we are working. That way you are not uh, getting behind with the platform. Okay. Thank you. Just remember that uh, this coming week, I guess, they will be checking on your advances. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, uh, any questions about vocabulary? No? Okay, listen again. Loose. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. But by the way, I'm Daniel. Okay. Now. Any doubts about vocabulary? No? I have a question, teacher. Yes. Uh, creo que la palabra mediodía es mini. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Mediodía. Sí, mini, algo. Hay una palabra ahí que dice. Y, no, uh, this is not mediodía. This is uh, midnight. Medianoche. Ah, Medianoche, sí. Midnight. Midnight. Uh -huh. okay. Midnight. Medianoche. Midnight. Mediodía se dice noon. 
Nun, sí. Mediodía es nun, que es cuando el sol le da justo uno en, 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 en la cabeza. Es nun. Por eso, después del mediodía se dice asternun. ¿Verdad? Porque nun es mediodía. But medianoche es midnight. Thanks. Ok. And one other thing. Eh, when we greet somebody at night, we don't say good night. Good night is when you say bye bye or when you are going to bed. When you are greeting somebody at night, you say good evening. Ok. After. Eh, afternoon, ok, and then when the sun sets, o sea, cuando el sol se oculta, is evening, until you, until you go to bed, that is night, ok. Now, repeat after me. So, do you usually come? So, do you usually come? To the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Really? Really? What time do you go to work? What time, what time do you, do you work? Work, work. work? I work in the afternoon. I work, I work in the afternoon. afternoon. I start work at five. I start, I start work at five. Wow, that's late. Wow, wow that's, that's late. late. When do you get home at night? When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. I usually get home at midnight. 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 That is late. That is late. What do you do exactly? What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. Oh, oh Helen 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 Black. Black. I love your show. I love, I love your show. show. By the way, I'm Daniel. By the By way, the I'm way, Daniel. I'm Daniel. Okay. Now, volunteers. This is my favorite. Okay. This is my favorite time when you are practicing. Right. <laughs> now, Katia and Jessica. Who's me? Uh, first Katia and then Jessica. Okay, teacher. So, do you <laughs> wish for... Ole, ole. Hola. Hello. Jessica Castro or Jessica? Jessica Castro. Okay. Uh-huh. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Jessica. Yeah, Jessica. I do. <laughs> really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the... Do you recognize me? 
Oh, you are Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I am Daniel. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, Elizabeth, El Carmen, and Sofia. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that is late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at my, my night. Midnight. Midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I am a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KN TV. Don't you recognize, recognize me? Recognize me. Recognize me. Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, Kevin, Daniel, and Natalie, Patricia. Okay. You started, Daniel. Okay, uh, so do you usually come to Beijing in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Whoa, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black? I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, thank you very much. Now, other volunteers? Let's see. Natalie Ayala and who else? Ruth Abigail, okay, go ahead. Mm, okay, uh, so do you usually come to the gym at the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight, that is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the waiter report and KNTV. Don't you re re recognize, recognize me. Recognize me. Oh, you are... What is your name? Sorry. Ruth. Ruth, Ruth. Abigail. Oh, you are. Ah, okay. Oh, you are Ruth Abigail. I love your show. By the way, I'm Natalie. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> okay. Now, any other volunteers? No? Okay. I really enjoy when you uh, practice because. Uh, that way you, you uh, get more in touch with the language and you get in custom to use it. Now, um, repeat after me, please. Uh, midnight. 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 K and TV. K and TV. K and TV. Recognize me. 
Recognize me. Recognize me. Okay, thank you very much. Now, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions of time and adverbs of time. Okay. Here we have some prepositions. Uh, the same prepositions in on at can be used for time and for location, okay? For example, we use in as a general thing. And these are the examples. When we are talking about centuries, the case, years, months, and weeks. In the eight, eight, uh, 18th, uh, hundreds, in the 80s, in 1970, in 1981, in July, in May, in two weeks, we may use in. And when we are talking about on is something more specific. For example, on May 7th, 1964, on my birthday, on Friday, on the weekend, and when we are talking about a very, very specific, we use at, at 7 a.m., at 12 o'clock, at 5 p.m., okay? When we are talking about time. And these are the location. In England, in London, in Chinatown, that is country, city, neighborhood, okay? On Oxford Street, on the corner, and a very specific act, at 734 Oxford Street, that is an address, okay? Uh, 734 is the number of the house, for, for example, or, or the place. And Oxford Street is the street, the name of the street, okay? And at the store. Now, time expressions, repeat after me. I get up at seven in the morning. I, I get up. At seven in the morning. On weekdays. On weekdays. Okay, on weekdays. Here we are using three time expressions. At seven in the is, is one. In the morning is another one. And on weekdays is the is the other one. Three times three prepositions of time. Now I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I go, I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. Okay, on weeknights is one preposition. In the evening is another preposition. And around 10 is another preposition, okay? Now, uh, I leave work early in the afternoon. I leave work early in the early in the afternoon. On weekends. On weekends. Okay. Now again, we have on weekends and in the afternoon. Okay. Um. Any questions about the use of prepositions as time expressions? No, teacher. Okay. Now, 
Eh, Elizabeth, could you read uh, number four, uh, number one, please? The first one. I get home late at night on Fridays. Okay. Tell me which are the prepositions there. Uh, the first preposition is at and second preposition is on. Okay, good. Now, Sofia Castaneda. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. Okay, which are the prepositions there? Uh, on Saturday, Saturdays. On? Uh -huh. Saturdays. There are others, other others, uh, prepositions too. Up, I, up is a preposition and until, but they up are until. not. Uh, up is not, uh, is not a time expression. Okay. okay. But until, they are talking yes. about stay up. That's a, but it's a preposition, up. So, okay, up. A, a stay up in this case is a two word verb. That means that you are awake, stay up. Okay. okay. And until, that's a preposition of time. Until, hasta, okay? Hasta okay. medianoche, okay? Until. Now, um, Kevin Daniel, read number three, please. I wake up before afternoon on Saturday Sundays. Okay, which are the prepositions here? Uh, on? On Sundays, uh huh. Uh, before, before, after. And after, okay. Before and after. Nice. And we also have another preposition there in a two word verb wake up. Okay. Wake up. Up is a preposition. Now, uh, Nancy Portillo, read uh, this, please. This proposition of time is used to discuss, discuss a specific time, including exception such at, as night. Mm -hmm. Example, we have classes at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. We have classes at 8 at night. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, Louis. Um, this position, this preposition of time is used to discuss general times of the day except, except night, months, years. Examples? An example, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, Reina Lemus. Um, we will meet on Friday. Uh, yes, but uh, read uh, the information about on. On. Preposition uh -huh. of time is used to, to discuss certain day of the week of fortune of day of the week. Of specific day. Okay, now the examples. Examples, we will meet Iris on weekend. Christmas in, on December 
25. That's something that I, I, I always laugh about because uh, Christmas is on December 25th, but we always celebrate on the 24th. Okay, but Christmas is the next day. We, we celebrate a Christmas Eve. For, for, for us in, in our culture, we made a big uh, dinner uh, with anything that we consider uh -huh. special. It could be turkey, it could be tamales, it could be uh, whatever you dispose for that day, but it's a special dinner. And then uh, on December 25th, that is the real celebration, we 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 don't do anything. <laughs> I love that. Now, now let's check. Two point nine. Okay, now. Complete the sentences with the time expressions. Okay, now, Carmen Lisset Santillana. Do number one, please. I get up at six. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, Natalie Miranda. I go to bed late at night. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Natalie Ayala. I start work at 11.30 a.m. Okay, now in Miami Lake. Uh, I have lunch at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Nancy Portillo. I stay up at 1 a.m. on weekends. Okay, now, thank you. Sandra Noemi. I wake up late Sunday. On, in, or at? On. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, 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 uh. Kevin Daniel. I watch TV in the evening. Okay, now Doris Jasmine. I do my homework around for the afternoon. Okay, thank you. Monica Marisol. ¿Qué número, teacher, perdón? Nine. Nine. I work on weekdays. Thank you. Now, uh, Jessica Rosibel. I get home early in the morning from my night trip. Okay, thank you. Let's check. Okay, 33 over 33. All of you have it correct? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. 
Okay, now let's class participants will develop listening skills for specific information about daily schedules okay now let's listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay. Now, do you want to listen again? Yes. Please. Yes. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. Okay. Rodney is a chef. Chef. Okay. Chef. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. Okay, he gets up at 9 a.m. Okay, he gets up at 9 a.m. Okay. And I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. Okay, he gets home at 11 p.m. Okay, now. And I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, he goes to bed at morning. One in morning. the morning. In the morning. One okay. well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular. Okay. What is Tina? An um, office manager. She is an office manager. Okay. Regular nine to five office job. So I get up at seven a.m. and get home. 
she gets up at? 5 a.m. 7 a.m. Okay, 7 a.m. Home around 6 p.m. That's okay though, because and she gets home at? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Okay. I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. She goes to bed at midnight. Midnight. Okay. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at six in the morning, so I have to. What is Ellen? Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Okay. She get up before five a.m. She gets up before six in the five a.m. I am. Okay. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until nine o'clock at night. But I always. What happened here? Wait. Nine. Se quedó mudo esta tontera, permítanme. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their day at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed. She gets home at? Night o'clock. Okay. Right away. Around 10. And she goes to bed at? Around 10. Around 10. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's check. estaría bien así a ver okay let's see 
one in the morning. Esta supuestamente así es. Vamos a ver. La vieja confiable. A ver. Around ten. La le pone bien. En nine, nine, nine. Ahí decía nine o'clock, ¿verdad? Yes. Así sí. que, bueno, vamos a dejar solo nine. Y, y ahí decía one in the morning. No, no sé, no, no sé, no sé. Solo funciona con one. No se rigen, ah, sí, solo one también. Es, no se rigen con lo que dice en, la, en, el, en el listening. Y vamos a ver. Uy, sí. Ok. Do you need to copy it? Or do you already have it? ¿Necesitan copiarlo o ya lo tienen? Ok. No se preocupen, tenemos todo el tiempo del mundo. No, justo a mí me sucedió lo que usted tenía ahorita. Varias estaban con la ya que le hice en Entonces, el... pero ya ahí están ahorita para que las copie. ¿eh? Ya estuvo, pero agarrándome <risa> la cabeza toda la noche. No, pues sí, 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 da, da cólera, fíjese, porque uno escucha una cosa y ve. Pero hagámoslo ahorita. No, cuando le pase así no se anda atormentando. Ahí espere si es la clase. <risa> o pregunten el WhatsApp. Al grupo. Ajá. Yo pensé que eran como las 12 de la noche ayer. ¿Y usted aquí, a qué horas cree que me acueste? Si después de que terminamos aquí, tengo que convertir el, el, el video, subirlo y hasta que he subido, me puedo salir. ¿Y cómo se sube en YouTube? Verifiquen, verifiquen. Lo vamos leyendo de solo con la respuesta correcta. Ok, Sofía, number one. Uh, Rolly is a chef. Ok, thank you. Sandra Noemi. Okay, thank you. Now, Luis. Uh, he go. Uh, he gets home at 11 p.m. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Natalie. Natalie Patricia. Eh, ¿Cuál número? Number four. four. He goes to bed at one. Okay, thank you. Now, Carmen Lisette, number five. Ina is an office manager. Okay, thank you. Now, eh, Natalie Ayala, number six. She gets up at 7 a.m. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Natalie Miranda. Soy yo otra vez, <ríe> el que me conecto de los dos dispositivos. <ríe> ah, perdón. <ríe> Pero la puedo leer. <ríe> este, Reina Lemus. Que así no se le escucha. Pero bueno, thank you. Yo creo que sí lo, le lo leyó bien. <ríe> creo usted. 
en Miami Led, number eight. We go to bed at midnight. Okay, thank you. Now, number nine. Uh, Kevin Daniel. Ellen is a flight attendant. Okay, thank you. Monica Marisol. She's here up before 5 a.m. Thank you. Now, uh, Jessica Castro. She gets home at 9. Okay. And Sara Maria. Or Ruth Abigail. ¿Cuál sería, perdón, la, la última? La última, the last one. She goes she to goes... bed at around 10. Okay, thank you very much. Now, any doubts? No doubts? Okay, according to the how we had to develop the, the classes, we already finished two sections, section one and section two in the same in the first week. For the second week, we will develop section three and we will be doing the midterm exam. Okay, so please. Uh, for next week, you have to develop all that. And we will be at the middle of the, well, at 50% of the, of the uh, all, all the platform. Okay. Uh, if you have any doubts, you may contact us through WhatsApp. Okay. And we will help you. Please. If you haven't finished or if you haven't started the, the exercises, do them because they will be checking on your, uh, um, how, you are go, how you are doing in, in the platform. And when they say that you have to make comments on, on the box, you have to, use this every time you have a video they have something here that says añade una publicación okay you have to go there and where where it says title or título you put your name Okay, you put your name there. For example, here, Ruth Hernandez. And then you develop the exercise here and then you send it. Okay, on that way you are uh, completing what they are asking you here, okay? Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Take care, see you on Monday and have a nice weekend. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye, take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.